What's up, Madden 25 gamers? In today's Scheme of the Week defensive video, this week's scheme is going to be from the Cincinnati Bengals uh, defensive playbook. As some of you already know, the team we're going to be using this week is the Minnesota Vikings, and the package we're going to be running from this week is the nickel normal in the Cincinnati Bengals defensive playbook. Some of these plays can be found in other nickels, but in my opinion, it's best from Cincinnati. A lot of you guys have been waiting for the nickel normal defense, and today you're going to get a little glimpse at it. Today's blitz of the day, or not blitz of the day, what am I saying? Today's base play is going to be the Sugar 3 seam this week's uh, scheme. Uh, we're going to focus on this play. I really like this play. It makes it with some of the other plays from Sugar. Very si this, seam, this scheme will be very similar to the 4-1-6, but in my opinion, it's very good for the Minnesota Vikings personnel, and we're going to be able to use it to get right edge pressure, left edge pressure, zones off of it, and run defenses. So be sure to check in for this week. Be sure to stay tuned daily. So let's hop into this base play and get going. All right, guys, so Sugar 3 Seam, and now your basic look that you want to do out of this every single time you come out is you're going to base a line, you're going to spread your defensive line, and you're going to shift your linebackers to the right, and then you're going to manually move Rhodes down. Now here, as you can tell, as you probably already know, this is going to allow us to get easy right edge pressure out of nickel normal. For some of you who have a little bit more speed on, the, on, on your user skill and stuff like that, what you may want to do is... Um, do all that, but then come over here on the left side and put uh, Robinson in a quarterback spy and Jared Allen in a quarterback spy. Now, this doesn't always come free, but sometimes it does, and sometimes it's just enough to force your opponent to roll out of the pocket into those two quarterback spies. Okay? Another tactic I like to use more so than the spy technique is the contain. Um, so I'll set my pressure up. And then I'll just throw two contains over here to these sides of the field, just so that if they have a or if they have a Kaepernick and they try to roll right, they're going to roll right into a contain. And it also prevents quarter uh, halfback screens or FL screens here from this side of the screen. Okay, so if they ran a screen here to Peterson, and I'll just mimic that by putting him on a swing route, you're going to see that that contain is going to sit right there and be able to wrap up Adrian Peterson unless Adrian Peterson just gets big. But obviously he's in position to make plays, and that's what defense is. Put your guys in positions to make plays, and if they don't make plays, they don't make plays. Now, one thing I also like to do on this play, I'll set the, that's your basic, basic front here. Um, obviously, remember, make sure that Greenway doesn't come off. Make sure he's down a little bit. And uh, I'll just call the disguise cushion look, and some. I mean, I'll press if I if I feel like pressing. If I if I don't feel like pressing is going to give me the best chance to win, I won't press. You don't have to press at a nickel normal. That's why I think it's a little better than the four one six. But you see, this is just going to give you some right edge pressure to start. Uh, it's going to do a really. It's actually really uh, the sugar D's in my. Um, uh, especially from nickel normal that I've found so far, actually have been pretty good against the run. I, I mean, I've done pretty. They're balanced. You see, I mean, you have. You have three by three, so you have gap integrity. If you think about it, um, you have the A, B, C. Uh, you have all those gaps uh, accounted for, and then you have the two safeties over the top for contain. Um, the one thing that I would say, though, is if they do break a run here, you could be in trouble. So something like uh, our run we were talking about the other day uh, in our offensive uh, portion we were putting this together, this run, uh, it, it, it's an easy five yards against this defense, but... When we go to our running fence, we're going to show you guys how to stop uh, a lot of the popular runs that people have been using uh, to exploit the run-free system this season. So be sure to stay tuned for that. But as far as remember the setup, guys, base a line. Um, you're going to base a line your defense. You're going to shift your linebackers to the right. You're going to spread your defensive line. And then you're just going to slide in uh, this nickel DB. And then if you want, you can contain these guys. Um... So we can contain them like so. Uh, we could, you know, obviously you can adjust your zones based off tendencies. I mean, this we've seen the tendency from this play to see the running back on a flat route. So now we put the safety on the flat, and now he's right in position to make plays and, and wrap up for a short yardage, uh, uh, a short gain. So use the base play just to fill your opponent out. Obviously, it's not going to be able to stop every single passing play they can do. Uh, but these yellow zones do play really well. If also one thing I found. If I, after I base line, if I man line and then base line again, for some reason the yellow zones will play a little bit more effectively. Uh, it's a tactic we used last season, um, and we just, you know, continue, can, we can continue to use it this year. Uh, it's back in the game, so we'll take advantage of it and try to lock up some of these offenses. But this play is going to give you uh, just a really good starting out uh, formula for defense, so be sure to come back for the rest of the scheme of the week. We'll see you guys in a little bit.